Good morning, this is Kim Hammer with your devotion taken from the book of 1 Samuel chapter 3, beginning with verse 13. Verse 13 reads this way, For I told him that I would judge his family forever because of the sin he knew about. His sons made themselves contemptible, and he failed to restrain them. One of the things that Eli had to live with was that as he grew older and his kids grew older, that he realized that he had failed to instruct them in the ways of the Lord. Now, as the priest over the temple, I'm sure that his time demands were were great. However, that did not release him of the responsibility of the law that God had given to the Israelites, specifically instructing them that they should teach their children in the ways of the Lord, so that when they grew older, they would teach it to future generations, and on, on so on and so forth. But we find that there was a breakdown in the cycle between Eli and his sons, at least as far as Eli training his sons and what God expected of them as they grew up from children to men. We find that their actions became contemptible. And you may remember from previous devotions, a couple of things that God found contemptible was the fact that they robbed him of the offerings, but also secondly, that they were in immoral actions with the women that were serving in the temple, among other things. Now, the one thing that's also interesting is that the Bible tells us that God knew that Eli had an opportunity to change the actions and the ways of his kids, but he didn't do it. Now he is suffering for the consequences of his lack of action. I wonder if today what the world would be like and how society would be if parents were to raise their kids and to train their kids and hold their kids accountable, and as the word said, restrain their kids until they reach the age of maturity to where they can understand what the word of God says they expect, that is expected of them, not only as children, but as they turn into adults. I wonder how many times Eli struggled with the fact that he had failed as a parent to instruct his children in all things of importance to God based on what God's word says that a parent should be teaching their children about, about love for God, about love for his church, about love for his word, about love for humanity, about the strength of the family unit, all the things that go into the teachings that God expects us as adults, as parents to instill in our kids so that when they grow older, they will not need to be restrained, but instead they will be walking in the way of the Lord. When we read the verse, it also said that, it, therefore I swore to them, to the house of Eli, the guilt of Eli's house will never be atoned for by sacrifice or offerings. Now one might think that Eli would become rebellious or that he might become resistant, but we know that Eli knew that he was being told the truth because when you get down to verse 18, it said, he is the Lord, let him do what is good in his eyes. Eli knew that he had failed as a parent to instruct his kids because of the way they turned out and because of the actions that they were doing. It causes us to have to ask ourselves this question. When our kids fail, some of it's on them, no doubt. But if it's not on them, it might be on us because we didn't train them in the way that the Lord said that they should live their lives, not only as young people, but also as adults. They'll make their decisions regardless of whatever he do whenever they reach adulthood. But Eli knew that he had failed because he couldn't argue with the Lord.